Guerrero certainly will have the crowd in his corner, but I'm not too sure I need mine. That's coming up short, on Showtime at 10 Eastern. Seven out here on the left coast. Well, this fight is now official. If it's stopped because of the cut over Groves' eye, and we know that that was ruled open by a butt, so it would be a technical decision, and we'd go to the cards if it's stopped. But as Barry said, amazingly, the cut barely uh, bled in round four. And the power shots, Groves 56%, he's landing 50% of his punches, period, including the jabs. Very high percentage, more than double the connects and power shots. That's why he has, he's up uh, uh, by shutout on my card. Yeah, I mean, you know, we talked about it. Groves earlier on. There's a left hand slipped in by Sierra. Groves is a craftsman. Odd moment there because, again, Sierra had Groves against the ropes. Didn't take advantage of it, didn't try to take advantage. He backed off. I don't get that. For cut and another right hand behind it by Groves. Now the cut does start to bleed a little bit. I have a feeling Groves is getting more into punching range. And perhaps Sierra slowing a step. Good left hand by Groves. Yeah, these are thudding shots both guys landing. Of course, Groves, Barry, being in punching range means Sierra's in punching range, too. Well, and I think he's landed some pretty good right hands uh, in the last round and a half. A cut. Starting to bleed once again. Be because of Sierra's lack of urgency and pressing forward, it really plays into Groves' hands. Because Groves is killing time here. You can see that. And perhaps it's because of his cut. But they're fighting when Groves wants to fight Groves tried to counter that jab with the right hand. There was a right hand. It was a little bit short. The left hand from Sierra. And that might have gotten Groves' attention. Sierra seems to think so for sure. has been down once in his career. That was just a little short by Groves. Oh, Sierra is still there. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Everything is the same. Nothing's happened. But you got to keep working your left jab. Keep working on that eye. Action from round five. Good two-way action. That's that right hand of Groves. And why did it land? Well, Sierra's left hand was way out there in nowhere land. And that's what I said in the keys. Sierra had to bring his punches back for defensive reasons. He didn't dare. He got clocked. So we're at the midway point of this 10-round fight. I thought for a moment that Sierra might be losing a step up. I'm not at all sure he has. I think this is still a pretty competitive fight, and a fight that either man could still steal. The impression I get, Barry, is that Groves is controlling most of these exchanges, landing the bigger shots, landing at a, a very high percentage, but do you get the get? Do you get the feeling that maybe Sierra's never more than one punch away? Well, that's exactly. I, I mean, as you have seen the fight, I've given I've given all but one round to Groves, and I think he is winning the rounds. But yeah, that's that's exactly. I think I think he got Groves' attention with that one shot in the last round. And I'll tell you, we're we're halfway through this fight. Groves has done more fighting in five rounds of this fight than he did in the entire 12 rounds of the DeGale fight, which was fought at a very slow pace. The fans actually were booing. This is much more of a fight. 
And that's what Groves needs. He needs to prove that he can overcome some adversity and win fights like this. Well, and he's had it here. He got that cut early. There's a right hand by Sierra and Groves with a counter right hand. And why does Sierra back off every time he has Groves on the ropes? I don't get that. We know Sierra has got some pop. He's knocked out 22 fighters in his 24 wins. Right hand by Sierra, drives Groves into the ropes. Groves, his hands a little bit lower now. Yeah, and that's very contrary to his fight against the Gale. He had his hands up that whole fight. I think he did a pretty good job. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's quite a, quite an impressive, uh, not his U.S. debut, he fought here once before, as I said earlier, but his first fight is a major player. And, uh, you know, I was talking about being one punch away. I had the right idea back then. I just had to well, fight. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> yeah. So you were half right. <laughs> that was Francisco Espinoza, the uh, manager of... Sierra, who threw the towel in, he's best known for being the co-manager of Antonio Margarita, and the referee certainly could have stopped it at that point. The corner did a very good job of throwing in the towel I, at that point. I think so, too, because even when he went to sit down on the stool here where he is right now, he still wobbles a little bit. We're going to get a chance to get another look at this. All right, this is round six. Now, watch the right hand. He led with the jab. And boy, that left hook, I mean, these are huge shots, four of them in a row against an unprotected chin. I don't know how the first one didn't send Sierra down, but the fourth one certainly did. He got up, and not only did he get up, he told the referee, I want to continue. Well, that's just a case of one fighter getting there faster than the other because he throws a shorter punch. And he was out right there. Yeah, his eyes. His... Well, that super slow-mo catches it so well. And what was interesting here is the first punch coming out of the break. There it is, right on the button. Yeah, that was as hard as any of the four shots that put him down. And right here, the referee could have stepped in. Well, he saw the, he saw the towel. But Sierra was spared further punishment, as he should have been, because that was a brutal right hand coming out of the mandatory count. Well, a very impressive performance for the man from England, George Groves. And he finished it in style, in absolute style. All right, with that, we'll take it to the center of the ring, Jimmy Lennon Jr., to make it all official. Jimmy? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a time of 2 minutes 15 seconds in round number 6. Our referee in charge, Ray Horvitz, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout and still undefeated, George the Saint well, I'd say a very well-earned round of applause from the fans here at HP Pavilion in San Jose. Let's take a look at the show stats from this one, and uh, it'll kind of tell you the story of the fight, I think. Yeah, well, you look at the total punches landed, 50% for Groves, 56% of his power shots. That's pretty scary. Anytime you see a fighter land over 50% of his power shots, if he doesn't win, then uh, something went wrong with the judges because this was dominant by Groves. And most impressive of all, and me, Barry, he beat the gal in his breakthrough fight, but he did that by unboxing him. This was a whole different method of victory, and that's impressive to win that way when you've never done it before. All right, we we'll get a chance to see how the judges scored this at the time of the stoppage, and uh, 
Well, one, one judge actually had this just a one point fight. Marty Salmon had it 48 47, 49 46, but from the two other judges, Kermit Bayless and Steve Morrow. But uh, scorecards not needed. No, not needed. And really, what was a key for Groves and worked in his favor is that cut, which was brutal. Uh, didn't bring an end to the stop, to, uh, end to the fight when it when uh, he suffered the cut. All right, we've still got a lot more to go here.